This is what the jar looked like 750 days ago and this is how it looks today. Yeah, you're going to have to watch the videos to see this. It took me 750 days to make this video. I think I deserve to milk it out a bit. So first I'm going to show you how I made the jar. I collected the materials in this ancient, dense forest. For some reason, people kept staring at me while I was collecting moss while filming myself. I guess I looked pretty doing it. I also collected some soil. I can't pronounce that word. Soil. This dirt will contain all necessary microorganisms, seeds, eggs, spores for your ecosystem. At this point, I'm just taking the whole forest. Except for that white stuff. Don't want that. These are gametophytes, basically baby moss. Then I saw this rock and I thought to myself, ooh, a rock. Some dead wood is great food for your mom. Um, I mean, isopods. Of course, we also need plants. Yep, that's a plant. And I'm a biologist, I should know. Here is another one of those things that we biologists call plants. When you're taking moss, never take too much. Some other people might want to film themselves collecting it. Now it's time to build the ecosystem. You need a jar to make an ecosystem in a jar. First layer is a layer of pebbles. This will act as a reservoir layer for excess water. The second layer is a layer of activated charcoal. But I just threw a whole ass barbecue in there. This will help filter the water. After that comes the layer of soil. Whoa, I pronounced it pretty good that time. Soil. Damn it. I'm just making a hill because, you know, I like hills. After that, we can add structural elements. Yup, that is structural, all right. It looks like I know what I'm doing, but I'm just placing wood in a jar. It's not that hard. Now, my favorite part, adding the moss. I know you guys like close-ups of moss. And of my hand. More moss. Cool sliding effect. This is one of the plants we collected. And another one. I don't know why I'd even bother, because that one was dead within a week. Adding the last moss. Throwing in some sticks and leaves as decoration and food for the animals. Adding the last ugly ass plant. And the last step is the finishing touches. Yep, that should do it. And this is what the ecosystem looked like at day one. Now I'm going to show you what the jar looks like 750 days later. But first, we had to wait 750 days. And this is today. Now you might think this is just a jar full of grass, and you would be right. But there is more in there than that. There are other plants and animals. Like this plant here, the green dots are algae growing on the glass. And that is great food for the springtails that live in there. This one is new Bob, but he will never be able to replace old Bob, rest in peace. Here is a springtail eating some algae, and as you can see, they are very tiny. But not as tiny as your di- sorry. There used to be more animals in this jar, like the slug, but I haven't seen that one in over a year. I don't know if you noticed, but I have new high-tech equipment. I hope it shows. It's now winter, so the jar is very dry. In summer, there's more condensation and the jar is greener. I have a special announcement. I have my first patron, and every patron gets an animal. Because Mike was first, he gets old Bob. Thanks, Mike. And the next one will get new Bob. The link is in my description if you want to check it out. Thanks for watching, and you should go check out this video next.